guys, welcome back to Shane's Movie Reviews. I'm Shane, not in a car, not with Chloe, by myself. Uh, she's away for the weekend, obviously she has the car, she took the car. I had to find my own way to the movies, and I did, and I saw Greed, uh, which was my 15th movie of the year, which should not be on your list for movie of the year. I had just heard of it, just looking around for stuff to see. Obviously, I didn't see The Way Back, which is what I was going to see, but I figured I'd wait uh, for Chloe because that movie's a little bit more important. Uh, I'd want two people reviewing that for this channel. Um, but Greed, starring Steve Coogan. Uh, you might know the name if you saw the Night at the Museum movies. He's the little miniature gladiator guy. Uh, he's been in a ton of stuff of his own things. Um, but this movie starred solely him, um, and it was not good. Uh, it didn't really have a point. The whole premise was that he was a billionaire who was having a birthday party, but he was having a biography written on him, but his daughter was starring in a reality TV show that followed them the whole time, uh, and then one of his sons wanted to kill him, and there was way too much going on, and this isn't a spoiler, I mean, if it was a spoiler, it wouldn't matter, because you're not going to see this movie, um, but you'd think the message is, uh, greed, don't buy into greed, um, he was a billionaire, wasted his money doing stupid stuff. Uh, but apparently the last 10 minutes it explains statistics on the shirt factory workers that were women in Sri Lanka and all these other countries, which didn't, I didn't get that. They kind of added that in with the biography writer that he met some girl who the girl didn't, I don't know. It was so pointless, so not worth your time. So not worth my time, but of course I see these for you so that you don't have to see these movies because they are so awful. Um... I mean, it felt like it was a very low-budget film. There was, like, shots where, like, they were filming in areas where you could tell that all the people in the background were real people in the background that were trying to get on camera, even though that wasn't part of the movie, like little kids waving at the camera. Um, poorly shot, really awkward uh, script writing with some of the stuff that they did, having conversations that just didn't work. Um, I have, like, a list here of stupid stuff. British humor. I mean, yeah, I guess the, a lot of it takes place in England. All of it takes place in England. Um, I guess a lot, they're all British. Uh, maybe I didn't get some of the jokes because I'm not British. Maybe if you are from Britain or from a European country that understands their humor, you would uh, get it a little bit more. Um, but for me, it just didn't work. Uh, giving this uh, film grade by myself, I'm probably going to have to give it... I get uh, between a 30 and a 32. I mean, it wasn't as bad as Gretel and Hansel. That was god-awful. That, that should not exist anymore. Um, but this one, I mean, it's it's watchable, but you're not going to pay money to watch this. I wouldn't even watch it again on TV. Uh, so that, there you have it for that. Greed. Don't see it. Steve Coogan, just watch him at the Museum at this point. I mean, if you want to get your fix on him, he's great with Owen Wilson. Alright guys, that's going to be it. The Way Back review should be out soon. Uh, within the next two days, I probably plan on seeing it, and then I'll have it up right immediately after that. Uh, but for now, peace out. Also, an update on the giveaway. Uh, I noticed that only a few people, a few select people, entered the giveaway. Uh, it's two free movie tickets, guys. I mean, that's like $30 value. It's a fun date night. It's a fun just go, go hang with your friend at the Regal Theater. Not asking for too much. You can use this video too to enter the giveaway. All you have to do is like this video, so make sure you subscribe to the channel, and then just post it on your story. Uh, if you want to tag me on Instagram on your story, at Shane Palma underscore, uh, Snapchat at Shane underscore Palma 11. Uh, it's a fun thing. I just think that we, if we want to grow the channel, this is for you guys. This is for all you guys out there. Free stuff. Who doesn't like free stuff? All right, guys. Peace out.